this is a tutorial about ARM9 family processor. This tutorial consists of two sections. In the first section, we will learn introduction about ARM9 family processor. In the second section, we will specifically learn about one of the family member of ARM9 processor, ARM926 EJS processor, which is the processor core for the Atmel 91 SAM. 9263 EJS microcontroller. So we proceed our section with introduction to ARM9 processor. Overview. In this section we totally talk about introduction to ARM9 processor. By starting with starting with the ARM history a small introduction to ARM processor, then various ARM architecture and its versions, ARM family, then ARM9 family and its core comparison, a li license manufacture of a ARM processor and its applications. History. Now we start our tutorial with ARM history. ARM is a short acronym for Advanced Risk Machine. And the name itself suggests that it is a risk processor that is reduced instruction. Set computer. Basically the risk concept was introduced by the process research programmers at Stanford and Berkeley University around 1980. At a Stanford, then the Argon Computer Limited takes the effort to develop the ARM processor in the year between 1983 and 1985. After that, ARM started to license its core to many semiconductor manufacturers around the world for developing a various ARM based applications. The other reason for ARM gets popular is due to support of various toolkits. ARM offers various support tools such as ISC, Assembler, C, C++ Compiler, Linker, Symbolic Debugger. The main advantage of ARM processor is its less power consumption which makes it possible to be employed in portable devices. About ARM processor. Next is a small introduction about ARM processor. Many of them are aware of ARM as a 32-bit processor core, which means it can have the capability to address up to two power the two address locations, that is approximately 4 GB of memory locations. ARM totally consists of 37 32-bit registers among which only 16 registers are visible to user such as a register R0, 2, R15 and CPSR. All of the 21 registers are used for system level programming as well as for handling exceptions. ARM processor is normally respond to the int request very fastly due to having its own separate interrupt controller for handling interrupts. The strength of ARM core is that it does not take the risk concept too far. The ARM instruction set differ from the pure risk definition in several ways, which makes the ARM instruction set suitable for embedded applications. The modified instruction set of a risk provides very simple and powerful instruction 
set to the arm. Arm core is successful mainly because of the extremely small die size and uh, but high performance processor is likely more than 70,000 transistor in all and with extremely a low power consumption pipelining is a very effective way of exploiting a concurrency in a general purpose processor here a processor core is organized so that as soon as one instruction has completed step one and moved on to step two the next instructions begins step one so the clock cycle are utilized effectively arm supports three stage five stage six stage 8 stage and 13 stage of pipeline operations. And next, the ARM core uses either a one human or a hardware style architecture. In one human architecture, both data and instruction uses the same bus. ARM7 uses this type of architecture which has a three stage pipeline whereas hardware architecture uses a separate bus for a data and instruction which increase the speed of the processor by employing five stage pipeline used in ARM9 processor. ARM can be operated under two state which could be either arm mode or a thumb state or a jessel state if you use the arm state we can achieve a higher performance if you operate it in a thumb state will increase the high code density jessel state is used to execute the java byte codes it is up to user choice to design operating state of the processor ARM um, can support different types of data types. It supports 8-bit support for JASI technology, 16-bit for thumb state and 32-bit for ARM state. ARM offers user to operate the ARM processor under 7 different modes of which are user mode, system mode, fast interrupt mode, interrupt request mode, supervisor mode, abort mode, undefined mode. Since ARM processor uses an high range of clock frequency, it can be operated in a good speed and also it reduces the power consumed by the processor. Finally, what we can say about ARM processor is it is high performance low cost less power consuming processor and next is a small introduction about the ARM processor here we will see what are the main features of ARM architecture ARM uses a larger set of registers which can be used to for most purposes and ARM processor uses a, a load store architecture load instructions copy the uh, data from memory to registers in the core and conversely the store instruction copy the data from register to memory that means the core cannot directly manipulate the memory. All the data manipulation must be done by loading register with the information located in memory, performing the data operation and then storing the value back to the memory. There are no data processing instructions that directly manipulate the data in memory. Thus, data processing is carried out solely in registers. 
the norm architecture shows a three address instruction which refers to an instruction set where the two source operands and the destination can be specified independently of each other but often only with within a restricted set of possible values since arm is a risk processor it can perform a single cycle execution which means one or more instructions can be executed within a single clock cycle whereas a risk processor are typically took many clock cycles to complete a single instruction another main feature of arm is conditional execution of every instruction that means an instruction is only executed within a specific condition as been satisfied these features improves performance and code density by reducing branch instructions prior to execution the processor compares the condition attributes with the condition flags in the cpsr if they match then the instruction is executed otherwise the instruction is ignored for example condition code normally checks whether the result was zero negative overflow produced carry output arm had a powerful load and store multiple register instruction these are mainly to maximize the throughput arm uses a simple addressing mode which all the load and store instructions being determined from register content and instruction field arm supports almost 11 different addressing modes finally arm instruction set can be extended through a coprocessor instruction set which includes adding a new instruction and data types to the program as model what we had seen so far is features of arm architecture next we we'll proceed with the different version of arm architectures arm architectures and uh, the arm arm architecture evolved significantly and continued to be developed in the future in order to find a which instruction set is being used in particular arm implementation totally seven types of versions are uh, defined now we will start our discussion with the first version arm architecture version 1 it describes the first arm processor it used only a 26 bit address space for addressing and a simple data processing branch instruction there is a commercially no products are developed based on this version but it is used internally within orcon personals workstation version 2 is just an extension of version 1 apart from that it supports the following feature that is multiply and multiply accumulate instructions coprocessor support and also two new bank registers in fiq mode but it still uses a 26 bit dressing arm version v2a was first arm with on chip catch the architecture was very similar to version 2 but added the atomic load and store instruction that is why it is denoted with the suffix 
and coprocessor 15 was introduced as the system control coprocessor to manage the cache next the arm architecture version 3 is so the first complete 32 bit address and separate cpsr and spsr were introduced along with that it added the undefined and abort modes to allow the coprocessor emulation and virtual memory support in supervisor mode and also it has MMU support then it is ARM version 3M here the M is to denote the support of signed and unsigned multiply instruction version 4 of the architecture adds the signed and unsigned off word load and store instruction then new modes called system mode was introduced the capability of supporting 26 bit addressing is withheld from this version onwards in the next version 16 byte thumb compressed to form of the instruction set version 1 is being introduced to increase the code density and this version is named as version 4 version 5 is the superset of architecture version 4t by adding a new instruction such as the blx clz BRK instructions and also it supports the enhanced DSP instructions then it adds a software breakpoint instruction ARM version 5TE with the support of Jocile technology its main function to execute a Java bytecodes next is ARM version 6 it is mainly developed for supporting a multimedia extensions and it supports 8 or 9 stages of pipelining finally ARM version 7 was mainly used by Cortex family and even it may have a capability of having 13 stages super scalar pipeline in the next slide we will discuss about the progress of ARM architecture ARM architecture progress here the tabular column is tries to express the different ARM core with the corresponding architecture versions it also shows the progress as a start with the version 1 and ended with the version 7 with the different core supports In the right side we can see the expansion of ARM terminology which is normally used for naming the ARM core here access to indicate the family which is belongs that is ARM 7 or ARM 9 that is X is to indicate the number 1 to 11 next notation is Y and is that is to specify the number of MMU or protection unit available in the ARM core but these two notations were not commercially used while naming the ARM core 
duty is to denote the support of a thump instruction and D is to indicate that JTAG debugging facility M is for fast multiplier instructions I is used for supporting embedded ICE micro cells E is to denote uh, enhanced DSP instruction support and J used to indicate Jacile technology support F is for noti no notating vector floating point unit then S is used to for denoting a synthesizable vision type type of arm. Ohm 9 family. This is completely explains about uh, Ohm various Ohm families. The left side shows the various Ohm family available in the current market. On the right side indicate the its corresponding architecture versions along with the various core available in that family. Since we are discussing only about ARM9 family, it is enough to concentrate on ARM9 TDMI as well as ARM9 E families. So we start our discussion with the meaning of ARM9 TDMI and ARM9 E. What does mean OM9 TDI TDMI? All ARM codes after the OM7 TDMI includes the TDMI features, even though they may not included those letters after the ARM label. OM9 TDMI. Here the TDMI is used to, to indicate the thump architecture extension. As I said earlier, ARM can be operator either ARM mode that is 32 bit ARM instruction set or a thumb mode that is a 16 bit instruction set. This T is to indicate that it can be operated in thumb mode. Next D debugging extension. The debugging extension monitor what occurring on the data path of the CPU. Processor control can be handed to the debugger when the breakpoint or a watch point has been reached. This stops the processor and enables the user to view such characteristics as register content, memory region, and processor status. Here, the M is to denote the extension enhanced multiplier, which means it has the instruction to perform. 64 bit resultant multiplication and the multiplication accum accumulate operations. And next, in order to provide a powerful debugging environment for home based application, embedded ICE logic was it developed and integrated with the ARM core architecture. It is a set of registers providing the ability to set a hardware breakpoint or a watch point on code or data. The advantage of on-chip debug uh, solution is the ability to rapidly debug software, especially when the software resides in ROM. So far we seen the explanation for TDMI. Now we will see what is ARM9E. That is ARM9EJS. is normally used to denote enhanced DSP support. This is mainly used to improve the performance of the ARM while implementing a, a DSP algorithm in it. Next J is to indicate technology 
Java extension support. The Jessel technology developed for this new range of core will in many ways act like the thump 16 bit extension. An additional state of the processor is added to support the execution of a Java instruction providing a tremendous performance improvement to our current solution. Finally, as is a synthesizable macro cell. This means that you can optimize the macro cell for a particular target library and that you can configure the memory system to suit your target application. ARM 9 family underscore. This table shows the different uh, specification of ARM 9 TDME and a 9E type processor. So the ARM 9 TDME family processor belongs to version 40 which means version 4 with the support of TDMI. And it has have four different core ARM 9 TDMA, ARM 920T, ARM 922T, and the ARM 940T. And its corresponding amount of catch available in each core is listed here. And its memory supports are shown here. And all ARM 9 TDMA processor are operated around 190 MHz frequency, which allows us to execute the instruction in the range of 200 million instructions per second. And next is the ARM 9E. and it also supports uh, four types of cores ARM 926EJ AS, ARM 966AS, ARM 968ES, ARM 926EJS this ARM 926EJS is employed in Atmel 91SAM 9263JS microcontroller which is available in our lab. ARM 9 is normally operated in the frequency range of uh, 200 MHz and having a uh, 200 MIPS. So now we proceed with the ARM core comparison in the next session. This table just shows the comparison of ARM 9 family core. processor set with other family processor core. Here the different parameters are compared such as amount of catch, MMU, HB bus, thump, TSP instruction support, JASL technology support and the clock frequency. Here X markers denotes the unavailability of that particular facility and a small circle is used to indicate availability of support ARM 9 versus ARM 7 this is a small comparison between the ARM 7 and the ARM 9 family processor the ARM core uses either a one new architecture or a hardware style architecture in one new architecture, both the data and instruction uses the same bus. ARM 7 is one of the example of using a one new architecture. So, which uses a three stage pipeline fetch, decode, execute. Whereas, hardware architecture uses a separate bus for a data and instructions which increase the speed of the processor by employing a 5-stage pipeline. 
in the OM9 processor the five stages of pipelines are fetch, decode, execute, memory and write back. Typical operating frequency of OM7 is around 100 MHz whereas OM9 is 150 MHz. This makes OM9 to perform a any operation much faster than ARM7 processor. Clock cycle per instruction that is CPI of ARM7 is 1.9 which means for executing a single instruction it requires a 1.9 clock cycle that is almost 2 clock period to execute a single instruction whereas the CP of ARM a 9 is 1.5 next is a million instruction per second for every MHz that is MIPS per MHz for ARM 7 it is 0 0.9 but uh, ARM 9 produces almost 11 which is higher than the ARM 7 family processor all this advantage makes ARM 9 to produce a twice the performance than ARM 7 family processor licensed manufacturers these are the some of the licensed manufacturer of a ARM9 processor. Among this, Atmel, Samsung, Philips, that is NXP, then Texas Instruments are the famous to manufacturers this manufacturers are allowed to develop their product based on the any ARM processor as the main port in their devices applications ARM processor used in various application especially portably handheld products because they need to be operated in a very low power this makes used in video phones portable communicators and internet applications then ARM can be used in digital consumer products like stop box home gateways and game consoles even ARM can be used for imaging application which is used in printer cameras ARM application perform important role in the automotive industry by providing a powertrain automatic brake system body control system when it comes to industry purpose ARM provides a solution for motion controls and power delivery with this we have come to an end of our first section of this tutorial and we discussed so far is an introduction about ARM 9 family in general so we proceed our next section that is all about ARM 926 EJS processor